The building as it was was a, a sheep buyer which sat um, quite high up in a hillside in Loch Lomond and we looked to convert that into a family home. So as you approach the building, um, we come up the, the new drive, we've got car parking outside and the external store which accommodates all the kit that we need for the groundswater heat pump and the water borehole. Coming into the house, um, you approach the front door which is central between the rear extension and the old steading. As you come in the front door, all the public accommodation is to your right, so you've got the new kitchen, dining area and living space within the existing steading and then coming out into the new modern living area in the side extension. To your left as you come in the door you've got all the bedrooms so you've got three good sized bedrooms, one family bathroom and the master bedroom with the ensuite and walk-in wardrobe and some storage at the back. So the existing steading, the structure is very much intact and we tried to be as faithful to that structure as we could be. There was the, the four walls of the stone building um, and some kind of timber shutters and um, kind of agricultural type material. There was an old well in the corner of the building which was used for melting the sheep dip. The existing stone walls, we looked to try and complement these as much as we could but without copying them in any way. So we started looking at more lightweight materials such as timber and zinc and that fitted in quite nicely because they've got an agricultural feel to them as well and they complemented the stonework quite nicely whilst being of their own time and having their own identity. We then used the timber on the shutters of the steading just to kind of tie the whole thing back together and to give it a little bit of continuity between the different parts. So the timber cladding is Siberian larch that we've used and that will naturally weather. It's fixed in quite an unusual way in that there's no visible nail or screw fixings actually on the board and it's all secretly fixed behind the boards from a kind of hanging clip system that we've used on the back. So that's great also in terms of weatherproofing. So if timber is not fixed properly, you can get a little bit of staining around the fixing points. Obviously the existing stone was really attractive, um, but we had to then insulate that to get that up to modern standards for a, a modern house. Now we did that by using a, keeping the existing stone wall and then having a cavity and then timber straps with DPC behind and then rigid insulation and plasterboard to the inside. So the openings within the stead itself were already existing. Um, the big picture windows that you can see were big barn doors and we've just tried to keep that intact so the, the house still feels quite solid but yet we've got the more lightweight extensions to the side and to the back. The roof structure was getting to the point where it wasn't usable anymore unfortunately it was rotten so we did have to replace that but we replaced it on a like for like basis and you can see the exposed ceiling ties which we've kept there again that had to be insulated. We looked to retain the existing slate to the main building that was actually historically done in diminishing courses which is where the slate gets smaller and smaller towards the top of the roof. We we're very very keen to keep that because it did add quite a lot to the character of the building Unfortunately the slate all needed redressed so to do that it has to be cut down so the smallest parts were becoming just too small to use. So what we did was we brought in slate from another house um, locally and reused that in the building here. We then looked to complement that with the, the zinc roofs which are done with a standing seam which again is quite an agricultural kind of feel to it. We've used a, a blue zinc on the back which is quite close to the colour of the slate and then we've used the black zinc on the side extension which is then also used on the walls so it gives you quite a nice effect of the material wrapping around that whole extension. The flat area of roof right down the middle of the building separating the steading and the rear extension is done with a single ply membrane which is a, a two degree slope, a very minimal slope on the roof but allows us to separate the old steading and the rear extension at the back. It's very important when you're looking at restoring or renovating an old building to be very respectful of the existing building as it is and if you do need to extend it in any way, not to try and copy that building. The building was built at the time of its time and of its style. That time has passed and do something which complements that I feel is very important and certainly the way that we work on all of our projects. Get a structural engineer on board to look at the existing building and check that it's sound with an existing building, 
chances are there's going to be things that pop up on site which aren't obvious when you first look at the job.